Good morning to all of my students. Myself, Mr. Dibbendu Mondal, Assistant Professor of Mechanical Engineering Department of Greater Kolkata College of Engineering and Management under GIS Group. In this pandemic situation, I am delivering my lecture through online mode and my video is uploaded in YouTube. Good morning students. Today I am discussing about hydraulic machines. Okay, hydraulic machines. First one. Hydraulic machines are defined as those machines which convert either hydraulic energy possessed by water into mechanical energy which is further converted into electrical energy or mechanical energy into hydraulic energy. The hydraulic machines which convert the hydraulic energy into mechanical energy are called turbine. Why? The hydraulic machines which convert the mechanical energy into hydraulic energy are called pump. The hydraulic machine which convert the hydraulic energy into mechanical energy are called turbine. And the hydraulic machine which convert the mechanical energy into hydraulic energy is called pump. Thus, the study of hydraulic machine consists of study of turbine and pumps. Turbine consists of mainly study of Pelton turbine, Francis turbine and Kaplan turbine while pumps consist of study of centrifugal pump or reciprocating pump. Turbine turbine are defined as the hydraulic machines which convert hydraulic energy into mechanical energy. This mechanical energy is used in running an electric generator which is directly coupled to the shaft of the turbine. Thus, the mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy. The electric power which is obtained from the hydraulic energy is known as hydroelectric power. At present, the generation of hydroelectric power is the cheapest as compared by the power generated by the other sources. General layout of hydroelectric power plant. A dam constructed across a river to store water. Pipes of large diameter called penstock which carry water under pressure from the storage reservoir to the turbine. These pipes are made of steel of reinforced or reinforced concrete. Turbines having different types of vanes fitted to the wheels. Tail race which is a channel which carries water away from the turbine after the water has worked on the turbine. The surface of water in the tail race channel is known as tail race. Definition of head and efficiencies of a turbine. Gross head, the difference of head race level and the tail race level when no water is flowing is known as gross head. Now, net head, actually this is the diagram, one is the gross head, another one is the net head. It is also called, also called effective head and is defined as the head available at the inlet of the turbine. When water is flowing from head race to the turbine, a loss of head due to friction between the water and pen stroke occurs. Though where the other losses also such a loss such as loss due to bend, pipe fitting, loss at the entrance of the pen stroke etc. Yet they are having small magnitude as compared to head loss due to friction. If HF is the loss of head due to friction between pen stock and water, then net head on the turbine is given by head race, 
this is the dam and pen stroke nozzle tail race veins and one is the net head this is the layout of hydraulic power plant gross head hg that is the gross head 4 into f into l v square by 2 gd b is the velocity flow at pen stroke l is the length of the pen stroke d is the diameter of the pen stroke another one is the efficiency of turbine the following following are important efficiencies of a turbine hydraulic efficiency eta h mechanical efficiency eta m volumetric efficiency eta v and overall efficiency eta 0 hydraulic efficiency it is defined as the ratio of the power given by water to the runner of a turbine runner is rotating part of a turbine and on the runner vanes fixed to the power supplied by the water at the inlet of the turbine. The power at the inlet of the turbine is more and this power goes on decrease, decreasing as the water flows over the vanes of the turbine due to hydraulic losses as the vanes are not smooth hence the power delivered to the runner of the turbine will be less than the power available at the inlet of the turbine thus mathematically the hydraulic efficiency of a turbine is written power delivered to the runner divided by power supplied at inlet rp divided by wp Power delivered to the runner, that is the runner power, W by G, VW1 plus minus VW2 into U divided by 1000 into kilowatt for Pelton turbine. And W by G, VW1 U1 plus minus VW2 U2 divided by 1000 kilowatt for radial flow turbine. WP, power supplied at the inlet of the turbine, also called the water power W into H by 1000 into KW. W that is the weight of water striking the vanes of the turbine per second and that is equal to rho g into q in which q is the volume of water per second. Vw1 that is the velocity of wall at inlet, Vw2 velocity of wall at outlet, u is equal to tangential velocity of vane u1 that is the tangential velocity of vein at inlet for radial vein u2 tangential velocity of vein at outlet for radial vein h equal to net head on the turbine so power supplied at the inlet of the turbine in si units that is equal to rho into g into q into h divided by 1000 that is rho is equal to 1000 kilogram per meter cube WP 1000 into G into Q into H divided by 1000 equal to G into Q into H kilowatt. Mechanical efficiency actually the power delivered by the water to the runner of a turbine is transmitted to the shaft of the turbine. Due to mechanical losses the power available at the shaft of the turbine is less than the power delivered to the runner of a turbine. The ratio of a power available at the shaft of a turbine to the power delivered to the runner is defined as mechanical efficiency. Hence, mathematically it is written as power at the shaft of the turbine divided by power developed by water to the runner. Volumetric efficiency, the volume, volume of the water striking the runner of the turbine is slightly less than the volume of water supplied to the turbine. Some of the volume of water is discharged to the tail race without striking the runner of the turbine. 
Thus, the ratio of the volume of water actually striking the runner to the volume of water supplied to the turbine is defined as volumetric efficiency. Eta V, that is the volumetric efficiency, volume of water actually striking, okay, striking the runner divided by volume of water supplied to the turbine. Overall efficiency, actually it is defined as the ratio of power available at the shaft of the turbine to the power supplied by the water at the inlet of the turbine. Eta zero, that is the volume of volume available at the shaft of the turbine divided by power supplied at the inlet of the turbine. It is written as power available at the shaft of the turbine divided by power supplied at the inlet of the turbine. Shaft power by water power. SP by WP. SP by WP into RP by RP. So SP by RP into RP by WP. Eta M into eta H. If the shaft power is taken kilowatt, shaft power commonly known as water power rho g q h divided by thousand where q is equal to thousand kilogram per meter cube eta zero that is the shaft power in kilowatt divided by water power in kilowatt so formula is p by rho g q h divided by thousand classification of hydraulic turbine Classification of hydraulic turbine. The hydraulic turbines are classified according to the types of energy available at the inlet of the turbine, direction of flow through the vents and the head at the inlet of the turbine and specific speed of the turbine. According to the type of energy at inlet, first one is the impulse turbine. And second one is the reaction turbine. Thale according to the direction of flow through runner, tangential flow runner, radial flow turbine, axial flow turbine, mixed flow turbine. According to the head of the inlet of the turbine, high head turbine, medium head turbine, low head turbine. According to the specific speed of the turbine, low specific speed, medium specific speed and high specific speed. If at the inlet of the turbine the, avail, the energy available is only kinetic energy, the turbine is known as impulse turbine. As the water flows over the veins, the pressure is atmospheric from the outlet of inlet to outlet. If at the inlet of the turbine water possesses kinetic energy as well as pressure energy, the turbine is known as reaction turbine as the water flows through the runner. The water is under pressure and the pressure energy goes on changing into kinetic energy. The runner is completely enclosed in an airtight casing and the runner and casing is completely full of water. If the water flows along the tangent of the runner of the turbine is known as tangential flow turbine. If the water flows in the radial direction through the runner, the turbine is called radial flow turbine. If water flows from outward to inward radially, the turbine is known as inward radial flow turbine. On the other hand, if water flows radially from inward to outward, the turbine is known as the outward radial flow turbine. If the water flows through the runner along the direction parallel to the axis of the rotation of the runner, the 
turbine is called axial flow turbine if the water flows through the runner radial reaction radial direction but leaves in the direction parallel to axis of the turbine okay now the pelton wheel actually this is the layout hydroelectric power plant in which turbine pelton wheel the water from reservoir flow through the pen stock at the outlet of which a nozzle is fitted the nozzle increases the kinetic energy of the water flowing through the pen stock at the outlet of the nozzle the water comes out in the form of a jet and strikes the bucket of the runner the main parts of the pelton turbine nozzle and flow regulation arrangement runner and bucket casing or uh, that is the braking jet nozzle and flow regulating arrangement the amount of water striking the bracket of the runner is controlled by providing a ap providing a spear in the nozzle as shown in figure the spear is a conical needle which is operated either by a hand wheel or automatically in an axial direction depending upon the size of the unit when the spear is pushed forward into the nozzle the amount of water striking the runner is reduced on the other hand if the spear is pushed back the amount of water striking the runner increases runner with bucket runner of a pelton wheel it consists of a circular disc on the periphery of which number of buckets evenly spaced are fixed the shape of the bucket is of a double hemispherical cup or bowl each bucket is divided into two symmetrical parts by dividing a wall which is known as splitter the jet of water strikes on the splitter the splitter divides the jet into two equal parts and the jet comes out at the outer edge of the bucket the bucket are shaped such as bucket are shaped such as 160 degree to 1 or 170 degree the bucket made of Uh, cast iron or a steel bronze or stainless steel depending upon the head at the inlet of the turbine casing shows a pelton turbine with a casing the function of the casing is to prevent the splashing of the water and to discharge water to the tail race it also act as a safe guard against accidents it is made of cast iron fabricated steel plates the casing of pelton wheel does not perform any hydraulic function the casing vanes nozzle pen stock pelton turbine another one is the braking when a nozzle is completely closed by moving uh, spear in the forward direction the amount of water striking the runner reduced to zero okay small nozzle is provided which directs the jet of the water back the vane this jet of water is called braking jet velocity triangle of work done of a pelton wheel this is the velocity triangle shape of the bucket velocity triangle inlet velocity triangle that is the line and exit velocity triangle that is the triangle net head acting on a pelton wheel on the pelton wheel hg minus hf hg that is the gross head and hf is equal to 4 fl v square by 2 gb this star that is the diameter of the pen stroke 
n is equal to speed of the wheel in rpm d is the diameter of the wheel and small d is the diameter of the jet okay small d that is the diameter of the jet n is equal to v1 is equal to root over of 2gh and u is equal to u1 minus u2 a u1 is equal to u2 so that is equal to pi dn by 60 okay okay last if you like my video you have to subscribe okay thank you